Hi, this is Kevin Battersby with BattersbyGolf.com in Coconut Creek, Florida. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to hit a slice in golf. If you go back over the ages, some of the greatest, I wouldn't say slicers, but guys that faded the ball to slicing the ball would be Ben Hogan, Jack Nicklaus, Mark Kalkovecchia. Tiger hits a lot of cuts and fades and slices. Anytime you use the word slice, you're implying that the ball is going to move left to right for a right-handed golfer, of course. And that's done by using the club and using your left arm to actually control the club through the impact area and feeling like the head of the club and your handle are staying in front of your of your club face prior to impact and putting a left-right spin on it. That we also call the timing or the face direction. So typically, any player that's hitting a fade or a slice properly will be using your left arm to pull the club further. In each shot, there's a pull and a push. And if I push too much with my right hand, the club will pass my hands and I'll impart a right-to-left spin and hook the ball. Take Lee Trevino, for example. He would aim left put the ball forward, and then on his approach to the ball from the inside down the line, he'd hold on with his left arm and then leave the face slightly behind his hands, imparting a little left to right spin, starting the ball left of the target, and then moving back to the right. So a slice would actually be a big left to right, a fade would be a small one. So your greatest players will use and employ either of those techniques. If they need to go around a tree, around a dog leg, they might slice the ball. Uh, I think over the years, Mark McCumber probably hit the biggest fade or slice that I would see for a competitive golfer. But certainly, Di Trevino was always the watchword for players that fade the ball, cut the ball, slice the ball, left or right. Won many majors, and although it was one of the detractors in his game when he went to the Masters, because that's a golf course you have to hook the ball. Your grip would be the greatest determinant on whether you can curve the ball, and this clip is showing you how to slice the ball on your golf shots. It's the only part of your body touching the club are your hands. So if you do want to fade the ball or slice the ball, moving it left to right for a right-handed golfer, you'll get your right hand not so far under the shaft, you'll move it so you see less of your nails, and even such with your left hand, moving it more to the left also. The combination of those two features makes it harder for the face to pass your hands, which is really what happens when you don't slice the ball, so the head stays behind your hands, and you have more of a pulling action to the shot. This is Kevin Battersby showing you how to slice the golf ball.